All right, we're showing the launch control box that I've made. It's actually just a standard Pelican hard case that came with a uh, electronics mounting box inside, so we have a ring with a gasket. What we've done is we've mounted a main power switch for on and off. We've mounted toggle switches for toggling on each one of the pads. There are four pads in this case. And we've mounted a temporary on push button switch to launch. For safety interlock, what I did is I installed a magnet key between the power and the pads. So we have a magnet key right here and any magnet held above it will complete the circuit and give us power. If we remove the magnet, we lose power. So we have our safety interlock from the power source. There's no way to defeat it. Our plugs are nothing more than quarter inch Radio Shack RCA type jacks. Plug right in. We have contact to our micro clips, which are just our standard micro clips that we use every day for rocket launching. I have a test one set up already. So we have a micro clip with an igniter all set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and safety key is in. We've armed it. It's pad 4 that I have linked up. We have power to pad 4. We have the igniter ready to go. Folks, don't do this at home over your mother's table. And we have ignition. There's our safety interlock rocket launching and as you can see the light has gone out because we've lost conductivity. I'll reattach the wires and we have conductivity again. So it's a great way using the Estes igniter system like every other little handheld igniter but we've just beefed it up to four rockets. Again we take away our interlock and we lose power. And we just powered it off a regular 12 volt battery. Could be powered off a car battery, anything basically, however, we want to hook up our battery terminals to a battery. Could be a car battery, could be a lantern battery, could be an 18 volt drill battery. 